and Jonathan Dunnett here from Venn Innovation. I uh, just wanted to talk to you today for a couple of minutes about win-loss analysis. It works. Um, just wanted to highlight a few case studies for you. First logical question obviously is what is win-loss analysis? Basically what this is is you go and you talk to either your one prospects or the people that you didn't win and you get insights as to why did that happen. Um, so this could be anything that relates to your sales, maybe it's your marketing, maybe it's your product, maybe your competitor is better than you. You need those insights to be able to move your business forward. Really, this is for all companies with any amount of sales across all industries. And you can do this as an outsource solution, which uh, the case studies I'm going to give you today are from outsource providers, but you can also do this in-house. Uh, you might not have the budget that could be tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars to hire someone to do this. So you can actually do this yourself. So just a few case studies here that I quickly want to kind of roll through with you. And um, I'll actually put a link uh, in the comments below as well. So you can have a look for yourself. Um, this particular one is from a Nova consulting group. They were a market leader, had good, strong retention. Um, I think this is in the insurance space. Uh, but what was really interesting to me was a few of the comments from their clients. And these were long-term clients. These clients had been around for uh, quite some time. One client of 23 years said they never proactively reached out to us to negotiate our fees lower. That's not a feel good for that customer. Uh, one client of 15 years said, I was offended by their treatment. They made me go out and get market comps before they were willing to improve their cost. Doesn't sound like a happy customer. And despite the fact they've been a client for 15 years, it sounds like they're about to leave. Um, really interesting, like with their stickiest plans, their longest tenured clients, so those with over a 10 year relationship, were 26% more likely to cite fees as a churn reason. If you want to understand why your clients are leaving, win loss is a great way to do it. Another example here. Um, again, this is from Anova. Um, this is enterprise software, but again, this applies to every industry. Um, what I really liked about this one, the outcome for them, the most important thing we learned was the firm's client service structure and reporting protocols needed to be enhanced to keep pace with increasing levels of service being offered by its aggressive new competitor. For any company that's out there that you're well established, you think, Ah, you know, life's grand. You always need to have a healthy dose of paranoia. And this firm realized that very quickly. So the outcome of actually doing this and making refinements based on what they learned, uh, in time, the company reduced by 50% its at-risk clients. So that's a great win in and of itself. Improved client satisfaction ratings by more than 20%. That's pretty neat. One last case study to, to put before you. Uh, this is from Primary Intel. Here's the problem, and it's a problem. Losing 60% of sales opportunities. Company had a stagnant win rate sitting around 40 to 41% for two years. Uh, they weren't sure how to make changes to, to fix it. Uh, anecdotal feedback came in from the sales force, but there was no sustained mechanism to listen to customers. This is something that we see all the time with companies. You have your sales force and they say, well, what happened to that deal? Well, you know, uh, they, they didn't like our price. That, that's weak. That might be a component of it, but what's the real story? Again, win-loss works. It helps you get there. So this company, a few other key components here. Uh, buyer interviews helped the company uncover a number of key insights about their buyers, which brought up key issues that they needed to deal with. Number one, this company was pitching to the wrong decision maker. Hello, that's important. Uh, and further, their demonstrations were lackluster. So they were going out in the field, underwhelming their prospective customers, and they were losing 60% of deals. So what did they do? Well, so first they started going on site. Um, they said, now we go on site two to three weeks prior to the demo. We see and understand their business process and tailor our demo to that specific hospital and their issues. Wow. You think they're going to be losing 60% of deals? 
I don't think so. Further, they added, early visits allowed us to begin targeting the director of nursing. Our sales team made a focused effort to gather the needs and potential roadblocks to earn the support of the director of nursing, who is their key influencer. Uh, Chris, who I think is one of their VPs, noticed a big sales, big shift rather, in sales effectiveness with this change. The outcome, I don't know if you can read that, I'll read it for you, if not, 58% increase in win rate. They went, they talked to their customers, they found out what they were doing wrong, or their lost prospects and found out what they were doing wrong, now all of a sudden they're winning. So if that sounds like you, you'd like to improve your win rates, you'd like to improve your marketing, you'd like to improve your products and get competitor insights, come see us as Win Loss Rules. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.